I start like this, mm -hmm. and then I slowly go <laughs> this way, so I have to remember to sit straight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think it will happen to me too, because I'm quite tired too. I bet. This is craziness. It's amazing, but very crazy. Hi, Elisa. And I'm here with the amazing Denise Gaff, uh, the interpreter of uh, Deidre uh, in Under. And uh, I want to ask you something about uh, this uh, ambivalent character. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, she's amazing, a woman fighting in a man war. She's ambitious, brilliant. She wants uh, her career, but she's working with the bad guys. So what were your feelings uh, in uh, creating this uh, complex character? Mm. Well, um I think what's really interesting about her is that it, you know, I think when you initially meet her, what's so brilliant about the writing is that it becomes initially, it's a woman in a man's world and nobody is listening to her and she has to work harder than everybody else. But that soon gets passed, uh, passed over and we just see a person who is more competent than the other people in the office that she's in. And you see her drive and her, um, you know, she's sort of a rebel within the empire, but her objective is to save the empire, to ensure that it's, um, it recognizes the danger that it's in from being sort of lazy, you know? And I think it's very frustrating for her that other people in her office are given more sectors than she is and more responsibility than she is, despite the fact that they're missing really important pieces of information. So her objective is to, it's not so much to become powerful within the empire, it's to save the empire, which is what makes her so scary because she believes entirely that she is a hero, that if only everybody would listen to her, then they would be safe. But she'll go to any lengths to save the empire. So people on the other side are in danger because she doesn't care so much about those people. Uh, she has a really strong confidence in mm. herself uh, and she has a, she's so focused, uh, I envy her energy. <laughs> so mm. I want to ask you if uh, uh, you have the same energy or is it uh, one of those cases in which uh, you have a really difficult, different uh, way of being and uh, you have to work hard to enter in this mindset to change a little bit uh, uh, yourself. You have something in common with her? Yeah, or? but I mean she gets to be very... I'm a very emotional person, yeah. uh, and Dedra is not so much, but I, yeah, I definitely, I can see, I'm not afraid in a room of people to say what I think, yeah. and uh, I work very hard. I'm dedicated to what I do, but I'm not a fascist. So, <laughs> you know, that's where the similarities end. But I really enjoy, um, her work ethic because the thing is she speaks in that room in front of everybody because she knows that she has done the work so I am a huge admirer of anyone who works really hard and who is committed to doing their job really well I cannot bear working with people who are lazy mm. I hate it I hate it and I see it and I think oh even when I was a cleaner like I it you have to I want it to be perfect. <laughs> so I relate to that. If Dedra was a cleaner, she'd be an amazing cleaner. Maybe she will be a cleaner one day. Yeah, I relate a lot to her work ethic, for sure, but not to her fascism, <laughs> thankfully. More crucial to yeah. And uh, um, what about uh, um, being, uh, uh, for the first time, I think, in a, um, a fandom world that is yeah. so enthusiastic, big, but also sometimes a lot uh, mm. to face uh, something yeah. like uh, Star Wars itself. Well, I'm not on social media, so that's, um, I don't like a lot of noise, uh, people's opinions, a lot of opinions all the time. I mean, if I want to, I can seek out, um, but I think 
I have to be careful of going into what millions of people think about me because millions of people don't know who I am. They know my work. And I'm proud of my work in this series. I worked really hard and uh, I've been doing it for a long time. So I don't feel like I can't really spend my time worrying about what the fandom think, but I hope that they understand that the offering I've made is one that has been done with great respect for what they have uh, created, because the fandom has kept this thing going for so long. So I have got great respect for it, but I don't spend all my time worrying that they're going to like me or they're not going to like me. In fact, I hope they don't like Dedra very much. Oh. <laughs> Um, I hope they're afraid of her. <laughs> I think so. Thank you so yeah. much for Thank you. Thank you very much. Hanno paura. In questo momento hanno paura.